welcome back to my channel today i have a list of about 50 things to do when you're bored while quarantined so we're all stuck at home i'm gonna be telling you guys things to do when you're bored because i've kind of run into that where i'm like really bored and i've already done everything that i have to do number one is watch movies you've always wanted to watch but haven't gotten the chance to watch maybe they're like really long movies and i know a lot of you guys have already binge watched all your favorite movies and series and all that but if you still haven't watched a movie that you've been wanting to watch for a long time i suggest doing that number two is yoga slash meditation i've actually done this a few times and you feel so good after there's a bunch of tutorials on youtube my favorite ones are from madfit and i think she's doing more which i'm excited for number three would be like self-care so you can get some face masks if you have any lip masks any sort of self-care you can do this with your sibling if you have one and with your parent number four would be to make I don't know a dream board i don't know really even know what it's called but like things that you want to do but put like a bunch of pictures and make like a collage i guess that's what it's called yes make a collage of things that you've been wanting to do number five would be puzzles i actually really like puzzles and i, I got some for christmas last year like 2018 christmas and i still haven't done all of them because they're like 500 pieces or like a thousand pieces so if you're really really bored i would do a puzzle or listen to music while you do it number six would be to read a book or a magazine or something if you find a book you really really like you will get hooked on the book and then you're gonna want to finish reading it and if it's a long book even better and also listen to audio books audible has good free trials and youtube also has like free audio books if you look up the book that you want to read check if they have it on youtube first for free I'll save money number seven is to learn a language you can download an app like duolingo uh, I kind of want to learn French. I don't know why. Eight would be to play board games slash card games, especially with your family. It can actually be really fun. If you haven't already played all of your board games, I suggest doing that. Nine would be to deep clean slash reorganize and rearrange your room. This one, it's going to be one of my next videos, my room transformation video. I know I've been saying I'm going to do it and I haven't gotten the chance to do it because we still have a little bit left but we're basically done and i actually love my room before i don't even know man my room was so bad before but i mean it looks a lot better a lot cleaner i do need to clean it up a little bit number 10 would be to go through your closet or your drawers and declutter things and make a pile to give things away that you don't use anymore i went through my closet and i went through my drawers when i got the new drawer set and i got rid of two-thirds of my entire collection so I got rid of a lot and honestly it feels really good because I have more storage now my closet is like half empty so yeah <laughs> number 11 would be to bake I've been making so many vegan desserts I've made banana bread I've made cinnamon raisin cookies I've made these like homemade protein bars I have made I made something else oh I made vegan chocolate cupcakes I have had so much fun baking that is probably my favorite thing on this list I really suggest baking especially vegan and if you want to check out some vegan recipes uh, I'll put my Instagram up here number 12 would be to do a group video chat or just like a normal chat like facetime i think group video chats still are really fun like a group facetime call 13 i also actually really love this besides baking this is probably one of my favorites is to draw sketch or color i am not an artist <laughs> but i've been following like youtube tutorials on sketching drawing and i've been coloring them too yeah I made some Billie Eilish fan art. Number 14 would be to take a refreshing like bubble bath or something. If you have a tub, take a bath. I know you probably never take baths because you always shower. But take a bubble bath, you know? If you don't have a bathtub or something or you just want to take a shower. Take a refreshing cold shower. I don't know. I feel like a cold shower relieves the stress. Or maybe hot if it's cold where you live. I don't know. Number 15 would make a playlist on your phone. And then listen to those songs while you do a workout or something i don't know but make a playlist that's what i suggest doing number 16 this one's kind of random but it's like make one of those fortune teller out of the folded paper i'll put in a picture but those are really fun and i'm actually going to do one of these after i finish filming this video number 17 is learn how to do hairstyles such as like a braid or fishtail or an inverted fishtail or those dutch braids or box braids i literally i suck at hair i can do a braid and then a fishtail and that's about it i want to learn how to do you know those like braids that you go like that you know like the box braids or dutch braids i don't even know what they're called but i want to learn how to do those and i will during quarantine number 18 is practice makeup if you're not 
too good at makeup, now is the time to improve on your makeup skills. Or if you're really talented and skilled at makeup, do some makeup and take some pictures and post them, you know? Or just keep them for yourself, if that's what you wanna do. But I, I suggest working on makeup. I haven't gotten the chance to do that yet. And I actually do have a makeup account on Instagram that I've been posting like a month. I'm gonna do makeup during quarantine. 19 is to take pictures and edit them. If you have a sibling or your parent maybe wants to take pictures of you, I know sometimes they don't want to, they get annoyed, but maybe they're bored and they have nothing to do. Have them take pictures for you, maybe Instagram pictures if you want to post them. And later, going in and editing those pictures on Lightroom. If you guys want to see a Lightroom preset tutorial, let me know. Number 20 would be cook slash look up new tasty vegan recipes. I mean, they don't have to be vegan, but like... For me, I personally like to look up some tasty vegan recipes like, and if you don't want to cook right now because you're trying to conserve food, you don't have all your ingredients, just look up those recipes, jot them down, like after this whole corona thing goes away, try out those recipes. 21 is watch documentaries, so it's kind of like watching movies but documentaries a little more educating. There's so many different types of documentaries. So if you want to educate yourself, definitely check out some documentaries. 22 would be song workouts. This is so fun. If you don't really like working out, but you're like, I should probably move my body. So I'm at least doing something during quarantine. I suggest doing song workouts by Mad Fit. She has my favorite. 23 would be an indoor scavenger hunt. This I actually want to do. I saw it online and I want to try it out. So an indoor scavenger hunt, if you really have nothing left to do, that would be really fun. 24 would be learn TikTok dances. Um, <laughs> I don't even have TikTok. That is if you have TikTok. If not, you can still learn the dances and not post them. Number 25 would be to play with pets. If you have pets, you can play with them. And especially like if you have a dog, you can teach them how to like you know, obedience training. Number 26 would be to play slash practice typing. So online, there's a bunch of typing games that are actually really fun and you can improve your typing at the same time. Number 27, let me know if this should be a video idea. 24 hours doing everything with my non-dominant hand. I don't know if that sounds stupid, but I feel like that would be fun to do. And I'm gonna film it and I'll see how the video turns out. Try that out if you're really, really bored. Number 28 would be to paint your nails slash toenails. I painted my nails the other day. They're already chipping because I didn't have a base coat or a top coat, but I actually, I actually did, did really, really good. good. 29 would be to sleep slash take a nap. I know a lot of people like to stay up late, but I'm not one of those people. Take a power nap and when you wake up you're gonna feel energized you're gonna feel productive 30 is to make a wish list maybe you have a birthday coming up and even if you don't just a wish list of things that you want maybe you can work for you can earn some money and maybe get those things in the future or they can be gifts 31 is pixel art there's a bunch of apps on the app store mine is called pixel art but there's a ton on the app store and you basically it's like pixels and you like color by the number those are really fun 34 is to ride your bike if you have one they say not to go out but if there's no one really in your neighborhood and you stay far away from them you know you don't get too close 30 what is this 35 is to have a picnic uh you can do one indoors you know but i would personally have one like outdoors in my backyard so if you have a backyard i suggest going outside 36 is to look through old photos they can be like actual like printed out photos or you can go through ones on a hard drive or your old phones stuff like that that's so entertaining 37 would be to wash the car you may not even think of this but if you have any sort of soap like car washing soap but i think that you do probably need like car washing soap and not a lot of people have that you probably will need car washing soap 39 would be to watch and react to music videos so it can be like any music videos like really popular songs right now maybe you haven't seen the music videos react to those 40 would be to make a bucket list of things that you want to do when this whole pandemic is over 41 would be to do some online shopping and i'm not saying you need to get anything because i know right now it's kind of hard 42 would be to organize your phone apps like i have mine set up in alphabetical order i have a bunch of different folders but at the same time i do still have to kind of clean it up a little bit number 43 would be to keep a diary 
do a daily diary so every day write down what you did that day write your thoughts down number 44 is to answer questions about yourself so i actually have a book that i got at barnes and noble a long time ago it's basically that one is like 3,000 questions about yourself but online you can find questions like you can look up questions about yourself and get a paper and write them down next would be to help around the house slash do like housework and maintenance work around your house help out help out around the house 46 would be to sanitize everything in your house next things are a little bit like more fun not like housework 47 is to just play music and dance i'm telling you do this i got a record player for my birthday and we set it up and i've been playing music on it and just play the music relax dance nobody's watching just just do it i'm telling you it feels so good pretend you're in a music video 48 is to make lists so you can make lists such as like your goals clothing you may want to get places you want to visit in the future stuff like that just make different lists 49 would be to get some sun in your backyard you need sun just because you can't go outside doesn't mean you can't go in your backyard or your front yard so even if you just have like a small balcony go outside get fresh air and go in the sun maybe tan a little bit i actually got pretty tan not my face but like my body got pretty tan 50 clean your makeup brushes when was the last time you cleaned your makeup brushes huh, probably a while so if you do a lot of makeup definitely clean your makeup brushes and sponges 51 i think yeah 51 would be to water your plants <laughs> if you have plants even in your backyard just go out i don't even know if you have plants definitely water your plants i had succulents that i hadn't watered in like a month i literally forgot about them i felt so bad but now they're healthy i watered them put them in the sun watered them every day for a little bit just so they could get back to normal 52 would be to make a to-do list with stuff that you do need to do around the house i know this sounds like pretty boring but when you have a list you're more likely going to do it than just like lay on your bed and watch netflix 53 would be to make hand sanitizer i know this sounds really weird but I saw like a hand sanitizer recipe thing on Instagram. So I'm gonna let you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys what it is. So I guess I did not save it. I think you just need like three ingredients, aloe vera. Oh yeah, I remember it. All you need is aloe vera, rubbing alcohol, and essential oils if you want it to kind of smell good. If not, just do the first two things. You can make your own hand sanitizer. And the last thing is to make a lip scrub. I actually did it today and it worked pretty decent it was just olive oil and cinnamon weird combination but it worked pretty good and you just have to rub it on and like leave it on like five minutes actually last one is to make a homemade mask out of a bandana with no sew so here are the instructions have fun that is all for the video hopefully you guys got some ideas what to do when you're bored during quarantine that's all for today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe it's down below and yeah that is all for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one